Hi, I'm Sid Dobrin. In this video, I'll be talking about the Mapping Your Situation feature. When I teach the Mapping Your Situation feature focused on writing to evaluate, I walk students through the process it illustrates. I ask students to begin mapping their situation by asking a series of questions about their purposes in conducting the evaluation. What am I evaluating? Why am I evaluating? What does my evaluation need to convey? Does my evaluation serve a larger purpose, like perhaps as evidence in an argument? Once they have a sense of their purposes in conducting the evaluation, students should then begin asking about who will be reading their evaluations, asking questions to determine what they know about their audience. At the same time, students should consider in what medium and by what method they, will they convey the details and the conclusions of their evaluations. The questions they ask about medium and method should be asked in conjunction with their questions about audience, since the responses are necessarily connected. Likewise, I always want to show students that when thinking about and asking about audience, medium, and method, they should also start to question the context of their evaluations. Where will it occur? Where will it appear? What limits their evaluations? Each of these kinds of questions should be asked simultaneously with other questions about medium and method because all of the questions affect how writers might need to revise those questions. Next, I ask students to start thinking about who else is already participating in the situation and what the various relations are in the situation, including the role of other evaluations in the situation. This kind of questioning can help students understand other evaluations that are already a part of the situation and how their own evaluations work in relation to those already at play in the situation. I also talk with students about the role ethics play, not only in their evaluations, but how evaluative information has already been conveyed in the situation and how those ethics help form the situation. I also ask students questions about how their evaluations might circulate within various networks. These questions ask students to think about how their writing will circulate and participate with other voices in the situation. Ultimately, this degree of questioning asks students to consider how their writing might affect the situation and how others who and affect others who participate in it. I also try to talk with students about how situations undergo change, even as a writer tries to analyze and lock down a situation. I encourage students to analyze and map their situation multiple times as they write to analyze within a situation. So those are a few thoughts about walking students through the mapping your situation feature with an eye toward teaching students how situational awareness is integral to the activity of writing to evaluate. Thanks for watching, and thanks for using writing situations.